Hi, how are you all? I hope you are fine and all matters are facilitated with me, Mew. The film is titled Hoy Sarah, The Bone Woman, released in 2022. Tells the story of a lesbian woman who tries to change and have a husband, however, because she felt she could not leave her lesbian desires and was compounded by the presence of evil. Spirits, her life was constantly haunted by horror. What actually happened? The film begins with people heading to a place of worship on a mountain, among them Valuria with her mother and aunt. Valuria came there to say a prayer and hope to have children soon. Besides becoming the wife of her husband, Raul. Valuria is also a furniture craftsman who has succeeded in making many types of furniture such as chairs, tables, and more. One day, Valoria visited a clinic to check herself and found out that she was pregnant. She was very happy that her dreams and hopes had finally come true and told her husband the good news when Raul came home from work. <laughs> a few days after the happy news was delivered, on December 22nd, when everyone was celebrating Mother's Day, Valeria and her husband came home and told their family about the happy news. All the family are happy and happy about the news, however, Valeria's sister-in-law named Vero keeps making fun of her because she doesn't believe. Valeria will have children. Valeria used to be a tomboyish woman and didn't like children. So Vero's words indirectly opened up about her past disgrace in front of her husband. Even though Valeria felt offended, she still tried to stay calm and not show her emotions. That night, when Valeria was walking home to her apartment, she was surprised by someone calling her name. Esperate, pendejo. It turned out to be Octavia, his childhood friend who he had not seen for a long time. After arriving at her apartment and Rolla was already asleep, Valeria continued to feel restless and could not sleep. Because of what her brother-in-law had said earlier, he went to the balcony of his apartment to calm down and saw a woman across from his apartment who kept looking at him. When Valeria tried to greet the woman, she was silent and didn't move. No! The woman even climbed onto the balcony and then jumped. Valeria was very scared when she saw that the woman's broken bones were visible, but then got up again with a scary face. Valeria couldn't believe what she was seeing. And when she woke Roel to take a look, the person was suddenly gone and it was as if nothing had happened there since then. Valeria has been having nightmares and is scared every night. In the morning, Roel invited Valeria to go to the doctor for a medical examination. The examination results showed that Valeria had symptoms of anemia or lack of sleep, which could be risky for the baby she was carrying. The next day, after her husband left for work, Valeria opened the equipment to make the crib because her anxiety had not subsided. Valeria felt confused about what really happened to her because at night she still couldn't sleep. When he tried to close his eyes, suddenly knocked on his door, curious, Valeria came out of her room and peeked through the door, seeing as if someone was there with a bit of fear. Valeria still came out of her house and found out who the person who was already there. When Valeria was already on the stairs, surprisingly a woman with a broken leg crawled into Valeria's house. After entering the house that was suddenly locked from the inside, Valeria tried to explain to her husband about what she had seen. However, because there was no one there, Rule only said that at that time Valeria was having a bad dream. Valeria really didn't understand what had happened to her and was getting tired of dealing with it. The next day, Valeria came to her aunt and asked to be taken to a smart person. Valeria hopes that this smart person can find out 
Why after she got pregnant, her days were always filled with problems. Even though when a woman is supposed to have children, she will be happy. But this is quite the opposite. After the smart man did the ritual, the woman said what Valeria had experienced was like a spider's web. One side of it could be seen as a house, but one side was also like a prison. The woman tried to comfort Valeria by saying that in a few days, Valeria's condition would be fine. However, when she hugged her body, Valeria felt that the look in the woman's eyes showed that Valeria was actually in big trouble right now. A few days after going to the smart guy, Valeria's condition started to get better. The days look happy and also the pregnancy is showing good progress. However, one night Valeria was sleeping when she woke up hearing the window of her house open. <laughs> after closing the window, a hand appears from behind the bed and tries to break his leg, even though it was only a dream. That incident left an imprint on Valeria's mind. Despite thinking that everything was over, the strange incident repeated itself, annoyed. Valeria sticks her head in the bath and remembers her past, from which we will be shown who Valeria really is. <laughs> Apparently, when Valeria was in her teens, she was a tomboyish teenage girl starting from his behavior, the clothes he wears, to his sexual desire, there is no difference from a man. This is shown when he has a lover named Octavia, a woman who was told at the beginning of the film. The scene in this film explains that at that time his family was grieving because his older sister had died. Because of that incident, Valeria decided to become a normal woman and ended her relationship with Octavia. Although the decision was very hard for him and not his desire, but because of his family's request, he had to do it. Realizing that what she has been living and doing all this time is actually just a pretense. At that time, Valeria persisted and tried to make up her mind that she could definitely be a mother and a good wife for her husband. Long story short, a few weeks later the day arrived when Valeria gave birth to her child. At that time, her body gestures showed that she was not happy with her son's presence. The climax was when Valeria returned to her house and had to take care of her child who kept crying. The attitude and behavior she showed at that time made her child a burden for her. So that at night when her child came back crying, instead of coming to her, she covered her ears with a blanket until she fell asleep. When Valeria was asleep, a strange incident occurred again because suddenly when the baby was crying, a strange figure took the child when it was early morning. Valeria woke up because she got a call from Raul. Coincidentally, at that time her husband was out of town due to an assignment from his job. Then, at that time Valeria was shocked because it turned out that her child was not in her room. And what made Valeria very surprised? After she tried to search all the rooms in her house, surprisingly the child was already in the refrigerator. <laughs> Feeling that she couldn't stand what was happening, Without her husband's knowledge, Valeria went to her aunt and Octavia the next night, and he asked that he be escorted to a smart person who had helped him the other day. At that time, Octavia asked why Valeria suddenly did that and also involved her, surprisingly. Valeria said that her goal was to come to that place to protect her child from the evil entity that had been controlling her. Even though Octavia didn't understand those words. After Valeria got out of her car, Octavia left the place. When Valeria was in the smart man's house, the smart woman said, Is Valeria sure about her decision? Because if the ritual is carried out, there is a risk that Valeria may not return. However, 
when her aunt convinces her to entrust all of that to the woman. Valeria is introduced to some old women who turn out to be the ones. Who will help make the ritual a success? Bien then, the old women started the ritual by continuing to surround Valeria and wrap her baby in a blanket, then not long after that while chanting incantations. One of them pushed Valeria's head into a small pond, which made Valeria's subconscious enter a dimension where she could see the blanket that had been put on her child. And also the most surprising thing is that there are many women who are piled on top of each other and trying to grab their child's blanket. When Valeria tried to avoid the strange figures, Suddenly, without knowing why her leg was broken, and the creatures managed to ambush her. However, after struggling to hold on to her child's blanket, and the creatures left her. Then Valeria was already in a building and saw a woman wearing a cloth walking away from her. Then, not long after that, flames appeared behind him and scorched his entire body. By the time Valeria regained consciousness and the ritual was declared successful, Valeria smiled with relief and returned to her house. However, in the end, the film provides a surprising twist. After the ritual, Valeria suddenly decided to divorce her husband and leave her child. Based on the research conducted, it turns out that her pretense of being a normal woman caused prolonged mental pressure and made evil spirits infest her body and mind. After giving children to her husband, Valeria finally decided to return to her original identity, namely as a woman who likes the same sex. And with that, the film Hoysera, The Bone Woman ends. Thank you for watching me use film explanation. We apologize for all the shortcomings and mistakes in terms of mentions and inappropriate remarks. Finally, Mew had to say goodbye for a while and hope to meet again in the next film storyline. See you.